I well, I have a a, a website. Does that have like a blog portion? N no. You could yeah. talk about our chemistry. Well, yeah, and which is <laughs> electric, <laughs> like this car. Like I'm really feeling it. <laughs> it's right pretty now. intense. I know. It's sort of a hybrid chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> it is a hybrid between horrible and awful. <laughs> Steve, why don't you intro yourself so I don't f it up? Hey, my name's Steve Barra. Yeah. <laughs> I do a lot of things with professional skateboard. Yeah. I run yeah. a media company. Yeah. I do other things. Like. Uh, I'm a filmmaker. You kind of do, do everything. Yeah, I do a lot of stuff. What is that? Is it like ADD or you just have a lot of talent? No, I just grew up poor. You're yeah. from Iowa. I'm I from, mean. Well, I moved to Nebraska when I was 12, then back to St. Louis when I was 13. Broken back. home. Yeah, back to Nebraska when I was 14. <laughs> so yeah, then I, le I left Omaha to turn pro at skateboarding. When I first moved to California, I asked myself, like, what could I do that is kind of like a job, but not really a job? If I, you know, skating doesn't work out, I could do this because it's kind of like skating. So I was like, okay, well, what do I like? Well, I'm in California, you know, maybe I should study acting. I like movies and it, that's acting. A real, that's a promising. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At the point you're 18 yeah, and from Nebraska, is like, yeah. it is promising. <laughs> so, moved up to LA, started going on auditions, and then started getting work, and then I didn't like it at all. Like I was on a TV show and it, and it lasted half a season. Do you want to tell us about it? Yeah, uh, I mean, it was a show. It was on Fox. It, I, I love that you're like, ah, this, this series regular on a yeah, show on a network, a... all that money and all <laughs> those residuals and all that attention. I mean, part of the reason you probably were so good as an actor is that it wasn't your only thing you were doing. I exactly. mean, you had other interests and it wasn't like you weren't like desperate. Right. I was willing to waste whatever. I would not go on auditions simply because I. I was like, I can't do that. If I did that, like, you know, people make fun of me in skating. Yeah, it didn't stop me from doing, like, uh, Nash Bridges, which I was on. <laughs> How did the barracks come about? You broke your ankle and were bored. Well, here's how the barracks came about. So I was kind of in the in my building watching, it, looking around going, there's 15 of the best skateboarders on earth in this place right now and nobody knows. Huh. Skateboard videos were being, were taking longer and longer to film. You know, one skateboard video might take you three years. Well, to a kid, which the average, you know, age of a skateboarder is, you know, eighth grade, ninth grade, you know. By the time they see you, when they first get into skateboarding, the next time they see you is they're like a senior in high school. That's a long time to not long see time. somebody. Yeah, yeah. And I went on tour, the first tour I'd been on in like a year and a half, and there were some kids that, you know, there that didn't know who I was. It wasn't a large amount, but it yeah. was enough to go. No, like, I'm still famous. Like, <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. get me wrong. Yeah. I am an asshole name. <laughs> but it was like, it shocked me, you yeah. know? I was like, holy, wow, man, that's a lot of work to have just, like, been forgotten about. And I realized that the problem was in the way that skateboarding media was and in, in the way that skateboarders were promoted. It's, it, was, it had been the same since I was a kid. And so I go, how can I help all the pros be promoted better, created content to, so that these pros can come in and it's really easy for them to do and they stay relevant during this three year period that they're out killing themselves in the street. Right, right, you right. Know? So I'm going to start a site that's based around our park and it caught on relatively fast because there was a void in that space. Is this your spot? I'm gonna turn on the light. This is getting too romantic. It's it's too much chemistry. It is. Too you're probably the first girl that's you're not the first girl that's been in here, but Oh, who is she? <laughs> who isn't she? <laughs> that's what your, who isn't she? Yeah, that's what your expression just said. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? What's so, up? The Battle of the Barracks is a contest that we do. It's the game of skate. You ever play basketball, pig or horse, a guy makes a shot. The other guy has a chance. If he doesn't do it, then he gets a letter. Yeah. Right. That's how this is. It's just on the flat ground. If the other guy doesn't do the trick, he gets a letter. Then you play, and by the time you're done with the game, you're warmed up, and then you can skate all the rest of the stuff. And you only have room for three more battles. Yeah, well, uh, you know, soon this is all going to change. We're going to get a new building. It will be a new barracks. Bye.
Bye. <laughs> See you later. I like that. And I'm just all hurt. And she said she was going to give me her number. And she just left. Bye. <laughs> Do you see that, guys? I think that goes down in history as the awkwardest one we've had. <laughs>